We should not fear a government shutdown. Right. Most of what we do up here is bad anyway. Most of what we do up here hurts the American people. My, my, my. That was Representative Bob Good from the great state of Virginia saying the quiet part out loud. Let's recap a little bit of what the representative had to say, shall we? He said most of what we do here is bad anyway. We do stuff to the American people while promising to do things for the American people. Ooh, we represent Bob Good. This is going to be one of the rare times that Sister Senator Nina Turner is going to agree with you. He went on to say most Americans wouldn't even recognize if the government shut down because basically what members of Congress are doing, especially on the GOP side, is inconsequential to the everyday material needs of the American people. Baby, we are about to go deep into that. We do stuff to the American people by promising to do things for the American mm -hmm. people. Essential operations continue. 85%. 85 percent, as Mr. Biggs has just uh, given me that number, continues. Most American people won't even miss if the government is shut down temporarily. Let's recap some of what the good representative from Virginia. He said most of what we do here is bad anyway. We do stuff to the American people while promising to do things for the American people. Dang, representative. So glad you spoke the truth. That is one of the rare times that I will agree with what Representative Good had to say about how Congress does not have a good impact on changing the material conditions of the people of this country for the most part. That's why he went on to say most people wouldn't even know if the government indeed was shut down. Now, I won't put that part in the parking lot because if in fact the services that are provided by other departments of the federal government, people would indeed miss those services. But let's laser focus on the congressional part because that is the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So notwithstanding the practical impact on the economy, I am remembering the 35 day government shutdown between 2018 and 2019, that was 35 days. And just those 35 days, the CBO or the Congressional Budget Office estimated that we lost about $3 billion from that shut down in the economy, $3 billion. And then we have about 2 million civilian employees of the federal government that would be impacted, them and their families. So the functioning part, really the people who are doing the real work, yeah, the American people would feel it if they shut down. But the finer point that I am agreeing with the representative about, not sure if he understands what he said, was that the American people would not miss it if Congress shut down. That is indeed the sad reality because this Congress is not doing what it should be doing to change material conditions and to lift the American people. You better go, Representative Bob Good. You in your truth telling phase, and I like it. The confession by Representative Good is quite telling. He confessed that if Congress went away, people wouldn't feel it because what they're doing there is hurting people, not helping people. Most of what we do up here is bad anyway. Most of what we do up here hurts the American people. When we do stuff to the American people by promising to do things for the American mm -hmm. people, essential operations continue. Some examples of that, letting the child tax credit expire, not passing the PRO Act, not passing paid family and medical leave, not passing the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, not passing the George Floyd Policing and Justice Act, standing in the way of the rail workers from being able to strike because they did not, they do not have sick time. Now there have been some adjustments to that just a little bit, but overall just standing in their way like that where they are fighting for their livelihoods just does not make a whole lot of sense. So in that regard, no, the American people wouldn't miss Congress at all. Not one iota, not one bit would they miss this Congress. Representative Bob Good. You did good, baby, this time. I hope you keep telling the truth about how inadequate Congress is in this moment and how this Congress is not meeting the needs of the American people. You got it. Y'all hurting people.